Alright, so it's the end of day one. Ended up doing uh, a handful of miles and came across a beautiful campsite. So, instead of pushing myself tonight on the first day out, I figured I'd enjoy the spot. I got some uh, mushroom and vegetable soup going. Good morning, day two on the Grand Enchantment Trail. Had a nice uh, quiet night last night. All the clouds seem to have cleared up and <coughs> I only do it uh, I only did it about five miles probably last night. So I got uh, about 43 miles to pick a post in Superior, Arizona and it's about 6.40 now. Slam down a cup of coffee and I am ready to hit the trail. I'm gonna try to push as far as I can today. And sun's coming up. through uh, Boulder Canyon, right by Weaver's Needle, here in the Lost Dutchman State Park. And there is just so much water out here. Currently making my way up LaBarge Creek. 
and I am uh, going to this really, really epic canyon. Check it out. I just hiked the creek or river for like three to four miles. Found a nice swimming hole, took a dip, ate a bean burrito, and um, ended up just uh, passing a couple day hikers. So, can't be far from uh, maybe another trailhead. Schwack. Oh, that's too funny. I guess I dropped my sleeping pad. And I was walking back. I just came down or up and down that pass. And I shot a clip up there. So I pull out my GoPro to check the clip to see if I had a sleeping pad on the back of my backpack. And it turns out I didn't. So I must have lost it. coming up the pass so as soon as I seen that I'm not gonna I'm not gonna walk back up there I'll be fine without a sleeping pad It'll just be a little a little rough tonight so it's day two Grand Enchantment Trail Been a little overgrown, just a little bit. <laughs> Dropped my sleeping pad. Like I realized, probably after about three miles, and I said, "Fuck it, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna walk back." And then uh, broke a pole. <laughs> not to mention when I got to the trailhead yesterday to start the Grand Enchantment Trail. I realized I had forgot my fucking pole. And then luckily this couple that I was talking to from Minnesota, one of the ladies' names was Charlene, Cheryl, one of the two. And luckily she had an extra pole that she was just willing to give me. Didn't even want to sell it to me. So thank you if you're watching this. Couldn't have pitched my tent without it. So, uh, I've been walking Tortilla Creek and then I just realized the trail popped up again, so it's been nice. Five miles out from the Arizona Trail in Rogers Trough, Rogers Spring. So I'm gonna push to the Arizona Trail tonight. We'll see when I get there how I'm feeling. And it uh, looks like, yay, got some fucking trail coming up.
Oh man, what a day. <laughs> um, it's kind of hard to make miles today. Kept losing the trail, pretty overgrown, and then uh, ended up like blazing a creek. Rock hopping, crossing the creek every now and again. And then um, it's just been really bushwhacky, so wasn't an easy day to uh, get big miles today so uh, I've done roughly like 15 miles today um, I should have like a solid 20 to pick a post and uh, other than losing a sleeping pad and breaking my pole and it being bushwhacky uh... good morning day three on the Grand Enchantment Trail Getting a little breezy. Sun's coming up. I woke up at like 5, 5.30. Got going pretty early. Now I'm rolling a little spliffy. I got about... I think a 27, 28 mile day to get all the way to Picket Post. <laughs> I ended up right by uh, Clover Springs, so I did like 17-ish miles yesterday. Which isn't bad, I guess. But once I hit the Arizona Trail, I'll be fine. It's a nice groomed single track and then uh, two track once I get down to the Forest Service roads. So I gotta climb. Uh, I'm gonna traverse that right there, that saddle, the cliff of the saddle. I'm gonna go up on that saddle. And then I have to go up and over and hit that next mountain. So we got like two little passes right here, and then I should be linked up to the ACT. Got on uh, Rogers Canyon Trail from uh, the JF Trail, which is pretty much non-existent. Oh man, I'm pretty uh, pretty cut up. I ended up fucking tripping on a big old coiled piece of barbed wire. I felt the barb go in me, and then I ripped it out, and uh, it's still. So pretty bloody today. The cat claw is just everywhere. This stuff. I mean, it just likes to get in ya and then rip it. <laughs> it's been, this is day three. It's been like two days and two hours on this trail. I've broken a hiking pole. I am bloodier than shit from bushwhacking. My shoes are wrecked. And uh, I'm pretty bloody from bushwhacking. My shirt's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> it's all tore up. But I got a little, a little more of trail right now. As you can see, it kind of opened up. But it's pretty vague. So I'm taking this um, through this canyon here. And I'll probably end up uh, riding this ridge. I'll hit the saddle, go around to the right, right there. I can see the trail. And then uh, I believe once I get into that canyon, I'll take it east, true east. And the AZT is just up and over that hill right there in that canyon. So getting close. It's just been kind of hard to do quick miles.
you get a no filter. I feel pretty safe drinking that without filtering. Cascading down some volcanic rock. Pretty agitated. It's going pretty quick. The filter's been squeezing pretty slow. No floaties. Cold and clear. Who would have thought that I'd find such a thing in the desert? Tears. Fire pit. Old cliff dwellings. Rogers Canyon cliff dwelling. Constructed, constructed and occupied by the Salado Indians approximately 600 years ago. God damn. Fucking people. All right, so I'm making my way on Rogers Creek. The trail's no longer existent. So I've been just fording the creek. And it's honestly easier just to walk straight up the creek than it is to find dry ground. I'm less than two miles out from the Arizona Trail. Finally got trail. No more bushwhacking. Oh, yeah. So 10 miles left, I think. Into the town of Superior. It's funny, this is a magic moment right here on, on trail. This spot right here is where I hit 3,300 miles in a year, which is a cool accomplishment. Two years ago, 2021. 
shot that picture right here. Man, I had a piece of cactus stuck in the ball of my ankle right here. And I must have walked with it for like three miles and it started hurting and it still does hurt like a motherfucker but I took the thorn out and now I got like that cat claw kind of effect like that paralyzing effect I've had cactuses hit me in the hand and then like your hand kind of starts to like paralyze and like curled up and here it is I'm gonna take a quick break I go all the way to pick a post it's actually about 30 miles or 31 miles for the day so I'm like 18 in it's almost two o'clock maybe two o'clock now so I'm gonna try to give uh, MJ a call and see if she's there if she's there I'll just push and I can make it to pick a post by like six seven later Came down that Montana mountain, Montana peak, or yeah, I think that's what it's called. <clears throat> called MJ, the trail angel in Superior, and she has been busy since January, she says. All right, got to Hewitt Station. Man, I came across this dude in the, in the side by side. His friends call him Hoffa, like Jimmy Hoffa. And uh, he has the fucking coolest job. He's got a side by side, like a rhino, and uh, he works for a ranch, ringing up cattle. So he goes out for days at a time and finds where the cattle are, keeps other game away. He used to guide. Fucking bitch and asked him about it. He goes, yeah, we could use a couple more guys. And uh, I ended up here at Hewitt Station, had service, gave MJ a call. She's 15 minutes out. She even said she bought homemade pizza though. Being good tonight. I don't know what this dude's doing. Oh. And uh, 30 mile day good day i even topped it off with a little whiskey that hoffa hooked me up man thank you if you see this in the superior i go <laughs> mj passed right by me because i'm wearing camo <laughs> here she comes